Hello friend, in this video lecture, I am going to discuss what how to connect SQL Server with R and R Studio. So here, uh, let's go to R Studio. So here, first we need to install three important packages. So click on this install button, and here let's write to uh, R ODBC. So this package that require, click on this install button. Now here you can see install dot packages at this location package is going to install and uh, need to must be connected here this is the URL download 857 KB it's uh, successful now here after next uh, package that uh, require DBI so right here DBI click on this click on install so here install package dbi this location is going to install and uh, here it's a uh, url and it's a uh, successful now here after one more package that require od bc select this one click on install so here install package od bc and uh, you can see location and uh, here this is uh, downloaded and uh, the size 1.2 mb so this three package that uh, is sensor now here after go to file new or a script and uh, at, uh, we can connect here sql server with r studio by uh, three ways so let's see one by one control v now here after the first uh, way here or we should use con you can give any name odbc connect and here z1 so z1 is here is the dsn name and uh, selecting the query select a start from file 1 so here you can see file 1 now here after first uh, to create a uh, dsn let's write to uh, control panel and uh, system security here administrative tool and uh, odbc so user dsn click on add so here you can see or uh, let's uh, scroll down here you can see sql server so you can use here sql server native client and uh, this option also so going to use sql server and here let's give uh, uh, sql server underscore dsn now here after so for the server we need to yeah we need to write local host or you can give here your pc name click next windows authentication that's fine and here i'm going to connect with the adam database so here you can see this is the Adam database. Now here after click on next, no need to change, click on finish. Here test, it's a successful. Okay, okay. Now here after let's back to here R Studio. So I have given the DSM SQL Server DSM. Now here after the next is let's. Uh, check the query select this one and click on run so here this is so uh, all running and uh, connected and here con rodbc int one it's come there now i want to see the files uh, so here let's uh, select all here you can see this is so uh, here 1020 inside or this file now let's uh, see the record inside file 5 so this is the record inside file 5 so here or uh, this place you need to write file 5 select and this time you can get this record now here after this is the first way second way we can use this uh, all libraries and here db connect and here at this place uh, we can we must enter the dsn name control v 
and here this time using db connect and here odbc odbc and dsna now select uh, this all and click on run and here you can see this all coming and here it's a successful now here after click on this item dbo so inside item or uh, dbo here you can see file 1 and file 5 so what we need to do click on this here you can see file 1 record and uh, file 5 record and if you want to see the system or tables so here let's uh, uh, scroll down here you can see column so click on this here you can see this is the record inside system table so this is here or second way we can connect now here after or third way we can use uh, this uh, library and here odbc and uh, sql server it's all fine so here driver you can see if i click here you can see the driver information click on add this is the driver sql server now here after the next is here you can see or uh, server that is local host database adam is the database now here after for port 1433 and trusted connection yes and uh, here after uh, no, uh, no need to change uh, no need to give here dsn so select this and run so here you can see again it's come there server underscore dsn and here you can see this all and uh, this is uh, by clicking this you can see file 1 file 5 and here this is the master table and inside this is the master uh, schema and this is the tables if you want to uh, get the summary of this con3 so click on run not this one we need to select this one so here you can get summary length 1 class microsoft sql server mode 54 so this is the simplest way we can connect here or um, SQL Server with uh, Studio. so I hope guys uh, this video is helpful for you and there is uh, one important thing you can also try this uh, query inside uh, R so let's uh, copy and uh, what you need to do let's uh, copy this uh, query and paste here so you can uh, see SQL query uh, okay dsnn that uh, not found so what we need to do so let's uh, copy from here so if you give here or uh, if you give wrong dsn so z1 it's not found so we need to give correct uh, dsn now paste so this time this should be no any error so here this is the record it's uh, displaying now here after uh, you can try this query as well so here let's uh, copy this query and uh, paste it here press enter now I want to see the summary so for summary we need to uh, copy this summary con 3 press enter here you can get length class and mod so this is the way we can connect here SQL server with R and R Studio. So I hope guys this video is helpful for you. So now in this video it's over. So thanks for watching. See next video. Thank you.